Hello. Part two of the cobwebs, I love the lawnmower. Part two of the Enero Bigger Boot series. So I've decided uh, I've done a drive today with just with this floor in, uh, nothing else on top of it. So just this wooden floor. Didn't have the cargo load cover on. And I've got the studded tyres on, which are noisy as hell on dry roads. Now that the sun's quite high, main roads are clear now, they're normal sort of down to asphalt. So the studs are super noisy on asphalt, they're not noisy at all on snow and ice, well a little bit on ice. But it's super quiet when you're driving on hard packed snow roads, you wouldn't know you've got studded tyres on. But on asphalt it's noisy as hell, so it's a good way to test the sound insulation qualities of this floor. So today, the I could hear a bit of noise coming from the coming from the back, which is typical on all sorts of estate or wagon type cars. You get this noise like reverberating from the back, and you hear it, it, it sort of amplifies the noise, the road noise. So I could hear a little bit of noise coming through this. But I went to a car shop and I bought some rubber mats. Let me show you the rubber mats. So the road, the road noise off the studded tires and generally road noise is quite high pitched. So if you get some thick rubber, it will dampen the high frequencies. Uh, so I've got two of these which I'm going to lay when I put this wooden floor back in the car. These, these fit pretty good, so I'll have two on each side. Also makes cleaning the, the boot of the car much easier because uh, have, you, have you noticed when, when you've got a carpeted floor in the boot, man you've got to, you've got to vacuum it like 20 times to get any sand or, or, or mud or anything out of the carpet. I don't think carpet is the best material for in the booth, especially like a utility vehicle like I use this. I put all kinds of rubbish in the back of the car like garden waste, chainsaws, chainsaw oil can spill a little bit, uh, di diesel cans for my tractor to fill up my tractor petrol cans to fill up lawnmowers and everything. I put I put so much junk in the back of cars. Uh, it's, a, it's a nightmare keeping the carpet clean. So the fact that I've got this now with the rubber mats, these were only 4.99 each. 4 euros 99 cents each. So that's 10, 10 euros and I've got a nice rubber floor. I also got a big piece of soundproof material that I'm gonna put on the underside this floor and uh, I think it'll be super quiet then and it'll also add a bit of uh, cold insulation as well so this is a better solution for me uh, it's, it's easy to clean if if I spill any like chemicals or anything on the rubber mats and they get holes in them <laughs> just to take these to the to the recycling center and then go and buy another one for five euros it saves wrecking wrecking the, the floor. So the old floor out the Nero, I'm just gonna put that in storage now. So that's still brand new. So where if I ever come to sell the car uh, and the new owner comes, cause it only takes 60 seconds. Well, it took four minutes to take the, the old floor out, put this new one in. So when the, when the owner comes, I could say, this is what I've done with the trunk. You can either keep it this way, or if you want, I can re, re Put it back to standard. I've not done any modifications to the car, no permanent modifications. So it can go back to standard in four minutes. So I, if I ever sell it, I could give the new owner that option. I'll say you can keep my my cool floor and add like this much extra space in the boot area, or you can have the standard one back and lose a ton of space. Uh, they'll probably go for the longer floor, it's cool. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna paint it black now, but just because these rubber mats don't, don't fit perfect. There's still a little bit uh, of, of gap, sort of around the edge. 
So I just uh, I don't I don't I don't like that. So I'm gonna paint it all black so it'll look really really good in the back. Not that it matters what the heck a boot looks like. So let's get painting. It's minus 12 outside. I normally like to paint outside. I don't like the fumes coming in the garage because this is also my man cave with drum kits and guitars and stuff. So, I mean, I'm far away. I'm on the other side of the garage now, but when possible, I always paint outside and then bring this stuff in to dry. Uh, but it's minus 12 now, so I've got to paint inside. Okay. Let that dry for half an hour and then we can put it in the car. One hour later. It is totally dry. Let's put it in the car. So that's looking better already. So that 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 will be super easy to clean. I hate those carpets. Uh, but I've got stuff to go on top and I've got some sound insulation to stick underneath, so let's do that. So I've got this, it's for these people who put crazy uh, stereo installs in the car. Oh, oh, just they're really like obsessed with sound. It's sound dampening or sound like soundproofing proper foil backed. So it'll also work as a heat. Um, reflect the cold and keep the heat in the car. So this, there is what it says. Blackton 10LM STP 
blah 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 sound bar of sound <sighs> blocking foil <clears throat> foil back thingy bob one centimeter thick uh, and the weight the weight is 100 the weight it can take is 110 kilos per meter cubed or something <clears throat> one meter by 50, 50 centimeters would have liked uh, a little bit more square but oblong will do So I'm just going to stick this there. And uh, I think it'll, it, it's self adhesive, the back is, it's, uh, you just pull, pull this off. So even though it doesn't cover the whole wood, I think it will do a good job. It'll cover most of it, and it will stop certainly the high frequency from the. You've got like just sheet metal in the in the bottom of the boot, which the high frequency resonates from that. So this should stop that coming through. Wow, it's super sticky that adhesive. Roughly in the middle, Tony. Come on, man, you can do it. Good. That feels great. Okay, let's put this back in. Oh, it's a bit heavier now. And then I've got my rubber mats to go in. I got these really nice thick heavy duty mats, five euros each. That sound, sound one was, uh, I think that was 10 euros, that, that sound barrier. Of course, the rubber mats will also act as a sound barrier. They do, they do sell, the car shop I got these from in Finland, it's called Motonet. They do sell a huge mat, it was out of stock, like a big long mat that's super long that I could have cut exactly to shape of the wooden floor. That's, that was my first plan, uh, but it, was, it wasn't in stock. So I've got these for now. I might do that, get that. It's quite thin, this, this, this long mat. So when that comes back in stock, I'll probably get that cut, cut it to shape, put, put that on, possibly even use adhesive and glue, glue it on, and then put these mats back on top. Just for a bit of extra sound insulation and heat insulation. But this is, let's call this pretty much done now anyway. So 
I'm happy with this. It looks looks pretty stock now. There's the there's my handle to lift it up. Pretty nice fit. So I'm not gonna get a great deal of sound coming through through these gaps. Pretty cool, eh? Let me tell one I can put that somewhere now. That is my in ear boot that's much lower. Plenty strong enough. And I'd say it weighs about the same as the old floor. Let's lift the old floor up. Just in case you're wondering about weight. Oh, that's actually, that is quite light, that, that's, that's hollow, that sounds hollow, so, yeah, it's pretty light, so the, the original one is a little bit lighter than the new one I've put in. So, I think I'm gonna stop messing with this floor now. I'm gonna call it done. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Now I can spill chainsaw oil and all kinds of rubbish all over the floor. I'm not gonna stress out. Even if the wooden floor gets damaged, I could just make a new one. It costs nothing. I've still got the massive piece of wood. I could cut another two floors out of it, probably. Uh, so I'll keep keep the original one. I'll put it in the attic of the of the garage. Keep it in good condition, and all the plastics they can all go into the attic and keep them in storage. If I ever need to revert it back to how it was, I can easily. I'm happy with this. I'm gonna go for a drive now on the motorway and see uh, what the noise is like.